What's going on YouTube family? Garrett back with another video. Today I'm going to bring you guys along a little sourcing trip. We're going to hit the outlet malls, Nike, Adidas, maybe some other stores, and then maybe go hit some other retail stores as well. So I figured why not bring you guys along for the ride. But first, got to send out this shipment. Got to go put it out. Scheduled to pick up for UPS. Uh, so we're going to get that put out front and then we're going to go hit the outlets. Let's go. Let's hit the outlets. Outlets were trash, so we stopped at Burlington. Can we see it back there? Where is it at? To my blind spot right back there but we're stopping at burlington seeing what they got um and we're just gonna keep hitting some stores so hopefully we can find some good stuff let's go i didn't have any luck shopping today i went to three stores found like a couple items so i was like you know what screw this i'm gonna go home and i'm just gonna start prepping all this crap i have over here um that didn't get out in today's shipment um unfortunately i ran out of labels so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set it up on inventory lab to where it doesn't print out any labels. I'm gonna get everything listed and prepped. And then tomorrow when I get my labels in from the mailman, I'm going to then just go on inventory lab and print out all the labels, label the stuff, and it'll be ready to ship out. So also, if you're looking for a good heat gun, they have these like heavy duty ones at Harbor Freight. They're only like eight bucks. Um, compared to the ones you pay like $20 for on Amazon that really suck. They don't heat up that quickly. These heat up extremely quickly, but if you do get one, when you first get it, make sure you run it on low for a little bit and watch it. Um, because for some reason, it can start, like, it's, since it's so new, it starts smoking up. Um, but that's literally after you just run it one time. Um, but I'm telling you, these are the best heat guns. You got high speed, low speed. And for eight bucks, you can't beat it. And I've had this one for two years and it's still going. Just finished prepping a bunch of items right over here as well. Got some back over there. Um, got, I was gonna scan them in. I scanned like half of them in, but I'm just gonna wait because too many different sizes on those clothing items. I don't wanna mix up and print the wrong labels for the wrong items. So I'm just gonna wait to scan them in. It's the next day. I was gonna turn this into an online arbitrage video just because I didn't feel like going to any more stores, but found a couple little bolos online that I'm gonna go look for in store at Walmart. And then we're probably just gonna hit some more stores since we'll be in a different area of the town. Uh, don't wanna skip over the stores and we're gonna see what we can find. So sticking to retail arbitrage for today. So hopefully today's trip, I can find some good stuff to show you guys um, some profitable items. Let's go. All right, guys, just leaving Walmart. Picked up probably about five of these Minecraft toys right here. Five of them for $3 each. They're selling anywhere from like $15 to $18. And then I got lucky, I think, because this video game right here for $15, um, they had the non-platinum edition one selling for $15 as well. Um, and those were not selling as good as the platinum edition. And they only had three of these that are selling all for over $45. And I think they had these marked wrong um, simply because the non-platinum editions were also 15 and then these were ringing up as 30 when I got to the cash register. So they marked them down to 15 bucks. Uh, so 15 selling for over 45 on Amazon. Got three of those. And that's pretty much all I picked up from Walmart. Um, so we're going to go hit, I don't know, I heard Lowe's is, 
had toys. I've never really, I've gone to Lowe's a couple times, but I honestly like never go there. But my dad said he saw a bunch of clearance toys there. So I'm gonna go over there and see if I can find anything that is profitable. Just arrived at Lowe's. Let's see if we can go find some stuff. Man, we are having no luck today. Lowe's was, didn't find nothing. There was like, there's this one like little tool toy for kids, but it was 25 normally marked down to 20. So not enough marked down to make any money. Then all the other clearance stuff was garbage. So I think we're gonna wrap it up shopping for today. I'll head home and I'll show you every single item I did buy. Even though we didn't find too much, we found a couple items. Um, and then you guys can see and maybe go out and look for some of these items as well. Alrighty guys, I wanna quickly go through the products that I picked up today. Nothing special, nothing great, not the best day. But again, every day is not gonna be a totally killer day. Um, it's all about being consistent, going out, trying to find as much stuff as possible. Some days are better than others, but when you stay consistent, everything kinda averages out. So one of the first products I picked up were these three video games. They're all the same ones. Picked them up for 15 bucks. Low FBA seller is selling for $37.99. So after buy cost of $15, a dollar to ship it in, our net profit is $11.99 times three. Next, I picked up five of these Minecraft little games right here. They're like these little figures. Some of them were different than others. They are $4 a piece. Specific one right here. They're all selling from $14 to $18. This one's selling for $14.53. I don't wanna go through all of them because there's six of them. They're all pretty much the same item. So at $14.53, sell price, bought it for $4 buy cost. Our net profit is $4 per unit. And I picked up five of these. So it's about $20 per profit. Um, so our stop at Walmart was about $50 profit after all fees and costs. Next items were these little Minecraft toys. I picked up three of them from Ross for $4.99 a piece. They're currently selling at a low FBA price of $19. We're going to do a buy cost of $5.40 simply because sales tax, they don't do tax exempt at Ross in my area at least. So after shipping it in, all the fees and our buy cost, our net profit is $6.27 per unit um, times three. So about 19, 18, 19 bucks profit. So that puts us at about $70 profit so far. Next item I picked up was this little race monster truck car i picked it up for 5.99 at ross can you see that right there current rank is 81,000 in toys and the low fba price is 21.98 so at 21.98 plus a six dollars and 56 cents buy cost a dollar to ship it in our profit is five dollars and 70 cents for this one item and last but not least i picked up two pairs of these adidas shorts for 14.99 at ross there is no sellers currently on this listing but i've sold these exact same adidas shorts many times i know they sell well um, so i'm probably going to list them for a round $45, the retail on them is $35, but I've sold them for over 40 before. So after fees, these should net me about $15 profit each. So that's another $30. So all in all, not the best haul. We didn't find a ton of stuff, but still about $100 profit. I didn't spend too long outsourcing. The outlet mall sucked. Um, most of the Rosses sucked. Walmart was actually pretty good considering I don't usually do too well at Walmart since I just kind of go in and see what they got. Um, but other than that, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop me a comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one.